fuck, guys. Oh, cold as ever. My name is Marlon Gerber. 20, no, I'm not 20. I'm 35 years old, born in Bali, Indonesia. I like being by the beach. I like the weather, the waves, of course, and the people. I didn't know any different until I started traveling. Then I realized how special Bali was and still is. My name is Tim Latte. First of all, growing up here in the Nordics and you want to surf, you travel a lot. It's not like you have the beach in front of your house. The unique experience of surfing up here, it's uh, out of the ordinary. Not many people get to experience it. It's super cold. Damn, I love it. Yeah, it's just crazy that I'm here, I think. I would never thought to come here my whole life. Yeah, I can't believe I'm gonna surf in this weather. My friends are all like, kind of tripping out that I'm here. What are you doing out there? You got like perfect waves at home, why are you there? <laughs> it's the furthest away I've ever been from home. Just to ask people 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and they wouldn't expect it. You're like, you're surfing in the Arctic, are you crazy? I'm still getting that today. So this is something new. This is exotic in many people's eyes. I hope that this place shows us the best side of it. I want to make this Balinese pro surfer just get out of going here like, I sick waves here, you know? <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah. But he seems pretty hard to uh, convince. <laughs> There's a big difference between surfing in board shorts and putting on a 654 neoprene. Definitely the thickest rubber I've ever worn. I need help, I can't put this on myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm just scared to go in the water right now. There's a minus two. <sighs> Can't wait to go home. <laughs> I'm not sure if he was aware of, about what he was going to get into. Icy road. <laughs> this is how icy the roads are. 
we come from different places. He's grown up in Bali, I've grown up here. It's something you gotta climatize to, you know? Also, there, if there's not a wave here, I'm seriously, where, where are the waves? I hope there's no waves here, so I don't have to go in the water. Yeah. <laughs> It takes a lot more dedication, a lot more passion to score a good wave up here. A trip like this up into the Arctic, you, you don't really know what to get. The weather maps, they're changing all the time. And that's the thing up here. When there is waves, we surf and nothing else matters. I get cold out there. But when you see that wave, you know, that wave has traveled far distances and it's gonna break right here. And it's only gonna break once. And then that wave is never gonna come back again. And I hate seeing waves going on ridden like that, especially up here when it's so hard to actually score. Such a unique moment, you just don't wanna waste it. He did like a 20, 30 minute session. I want him to be able to stay out and just like fully soak it in and not having to feel pain in the feet or fingers. It's a pretty different experience than going to your local beachy in Costa Rica or Bali or Australia, you know, where the surf culture is a part of the culture. Here it's not, it's different. It's a small, tight community of like-minded, dedicated, passionate surfers that are just, all right, we're out here to score, you know? His already mindset, it's gonna be cold. Once you put that mindset aside, it's just gonna be, I'm going surfing. It's gonna be cold, cold. Put that mindset aside. That cold doesn't become a factor anymore. I'd be surfing with snow on the beach. No palm trees here, buddy. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's negative eight outside and the water is like around five degrees. He's taking it well. Dusk fills her with light 
gold robes of sad laughter wrap around red maples and pines. There's something that tells you that this is not right. Tells you it's time to take flight And the good will go with you Keep watch as you sleep First couple of days I was pretty pissed off in the water I was like, fuck, what am I doing here? Like, I was pretty in pain Yesterday I felt a lot better, you know? I felt almost like I was in board shorts The waves are pretty good here. Like, we have perfect waves here. Yeah, I stayed out for two hours. That's kudos, man. I'm stoked. I feel like by surfing these temperatures, it's expanded my, my surfing a bit too, you know? Like, surfing in a full suit, booties, gloves, and hood is. It's a different game. Tim, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like we know each other for a very long time, but we only hung out the last couple of weeks. My first surf move was Rock, Scissor, Paper by Rusty, and he had a big part in it. So I've known Marlon since I was a kid. It'd be cool to come back here. Oh, look above us, look above us. I didn't expect it to be this good, to be honest. adapt to where you go as a human and that's pretty amazing.